When this whole thing started with the Epic Store and Satisfactory going on it, a lot of people were upset. But in all of this, Coffee Stain Studios have tried to actually maintain some semblance of reality and reason. And one of the arguments was, if you don't want to have the Epic Games launcher in the background, you don't have to, just as we see here. But I don't want to have another launcher open in the background. Uh, you actually won't need to have the launcher open in the background or even be signed in or anything. Satisfactory can be played offline and if that's the case you won't need the, the launcher open. But if you want to use any online features like to play multiplayer, then yeah, you need to have the launcher open and signed in and whatnot. So based on that, what do we know? Well, you open up the Epic Store launcher and you have your game, which you can launch either here or by the uh, link created for it by going to settings and saying creating shortcut. So that's that, you can play it, right? Well, not exactly. Say we stop this and we go out here, right click, exit. Now it doesn't run. So let's click on this then. Satisfactory early access, let's start playing. What's gonna happen? Whatever is gonna happen. I don't see anything happening. Oh, there it is. So let's see what happened in the background. Exit from that. What do we have here? Epic Games is again launched. If I open, go to my library, it's there. But I closed it. When did this start? I don't know, but let's see. What if I don't have internet actually? So let's close this again once more exiting out of that and let's kill our internet disable this now i don't have an internet anymore how do i know because here i don't have an internet so let's try this again waiting 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 i don't see something happening I haven't done anything differently, but still, nothing's going on. Right. So this is weird. Why can't I play my game? I should be able to play my game. What about if I start Epic Launcher? Waiting room failure. No response was received from the waiting room service. Okay, so this is what happened. This is what happened and it's even invisible because you don't get notified. So okay, skip signing. Dismiss, launch fail. Library, launch. So I can play offline if I don't have any internet, provided though I do have the launcher running. So that's one thing that's okay, I still don't have any internet. But the launcher itself has to be there. The launcher itself has to be there, otherwise you cannot do anything. So this is not exactly what we want it to be. Right, so no launcher now, right? Let's try this again. Click it. Epic Games comes in, but nothing else comes in. This is a problem with the launcher. This is understandable. I'm not hitting on Coffee Stain Studios right now. I'm hitting on there is a procedural problem with this thing. We have to have meaningful conversations and in order to have meaningful conversations we have to have words that mean what they say. So when we say the launcher is not required, uh, you actually won't need to have the launcher open in the background or even be signed in or anything. This is not the case right now. However, again, that is half the story because there is a way for us to run satisfactory without having the launcher. So let's exit out of it and let's do something else. For now, let's find your game, wherever it is you have installed it. Right click on it, select create shortcut. And now we have a shortcut here. Let's go to properties and see where it is. It's a straight shortcut, just like any other shortcut you have ever seen in your life. There's nothing strange about this. We can use this shortcut to make the game run without the Epic Store. And in order to do that, at the end, we have to state, so at the end here, we need to add minus Epic Portal. Hit the apply. Okay, rename it if you like. 
whatever and drag it over to your positions wherever you want it and still without any connectivity let's do the test again nothing or nope no internet whatsoever if i run this and i also don't have any epic portal epic store running then i run this and now i'm jumping in straight to the game excellent situation now has been corrected and we can use this to play without any internet or any launcher running in order for you to play in multiplayer you will need the epic launcher though because that ser serves like a match finding and lobby creating tool platform whatever you want to call it that is the demonstration i want to make so if you do want to run without the epic launcher or off the internet and be simpler about it that's what you have to do you have to create a shortcut that has the minus epic portal at the end and happy gaming that's not all of it though because what if you want to actually don't mind the launcher and you want to have your game launch by the launcher and everything is fine so you say i don't mind this that it's launching through the launcher well you actually might mind the fact that there are there is no control at the moment about which version you get to keep for example some games most games if you want to keep the updates limited and you don't want to upgrade at this point because for example you found a catastrophic fault it takes a week or three days or five days to correct and you cannot actually work with it then you just choose not to upgrade here you have to upgrade now this is not evidence by satisfactory because right now it doesn't have an update but we do have this which requires an update so what if i just launch the game to play what will happen nope it's trying to update I cannot actually launch this game or that game if it requires, if it has detected that an update is required, let's say, or an update is available. Once an update is available, then the state of the game will go to update, install, and then you will not be able to play through the link, standard link that is produced by the Epic Game Store. However, with that link, with the direct shortcut to the executable with the minus Epic Portal, yeah, option then you will be able to play on top of that there's another benefit what if you want to keep your version what if that version you like because the devs for example decided that something was nerf worthy or you don't want to have this new adventure or whatever your reasons may be i'm all about player choice if you want to you can what is that that you want to do keep that version so for one yes you cannot update fine but then and then you can play sure but what about actually creating a secondary one i've copied the entire folder from here from satisfactory early access copied it out to satisfactory early access if you try to run this factory game nothing will happen i don't know how it's linked or what happens but nothing happens however if you create again a shortcut that points to this folder which is now reflected by not being inside games as the other one is and you also equip it with the epic portal flag at the end then you will be able to run it outside the whole directory is movable i don't know what happens to your saves that's i haven't investigated that much yet but you do have the option to actually play and you know what maybe i can be able to play let's see join game no load these seem to be available here. Let's load something. Fail to create an online session. Do you want to create an offline session? Yes, please. I don't want to connect to anybody else. Shh. Thank you. Will it load? It does load. So there, you can actually play everything with access to your save file to your save files, and that's how you keep a specific version available name the folder appropriately like uh, wait. There. Uh, v2 or something and then of course update your shortcut inside to reflect the new or just delete it and then right click create shortcut 
there it is and now the new shortcut does have the new path reflected go to the end space minus epic portal apply and then you can play the game as you like player choice made possible by a simple old school shortcut and that's all for this it is true then that we do not need the launcher ever to play satisfactory. You will need it to update your game, obviously. You will need it to play multiplayer, but you do not need it to play the game. I wish though that we could have that shortcut created for us automatically by the system. Then the claims would be more valid than they are right now. Because right now somebody who doesn't want to know or doesn't care to know about how to create shortcuts doesn't have a way to actually use this without the epic launcher so that's all and thank you very much